game probably isn't ready. Unless you're a genius. The one piece of advice I would give to any game designer just starting out is as soon as absolutely possible, build a prototype and play your game. Don't wait. Uh, a lot of people will get stuck in, in their heads trying to come up with the perfect game or get the rules out or any of that. No, as soon as you can, build a prototype and run it. If you sit in your head for months and months and months uh, belaboring the perfect game, even then when you commit it to paper and cardboard and start to run it, it will probably be terrible. So as fast as possible, get it to the prototype stage, find people to sit around and start playing it, even if it's a piece of junk. Just do that as fast as possible. So early on, I just spent too much time in my head dreaming up big ideas, when really, you just need to get a physical product together, watch people play it, and see what happens. So don't waste any time doing that. As a designer, it's never ready. Uh, good creative people should never start stop iterating. But at some point, if you will get caught in that cycle, and there's no such thing as the perfect game. You have to cut the cord at some point and move on, or you'll get lost. So how do you know when it's ready? That is not an easy thing to answer. That's something that comes with experience. Honestly, at some point, you just have to say, OK, this is good enough. I'm going. And based on reception and how people will respond to it, um, that'll give you a lot of information. I will say one way you know it's ready is if you've been through a very rigorous, rigorous playtesting process. So my uh, first published game, which is called Dark Moon from Stronghold Games, uh, it probably went through one to 200 playtest sessions among 30 different groups. So at the end of that, while there are things I wish I would have done better, you, I was fairly confident that I'd run it through its paces and it wasn't going to break down. It was ready. So, so the best way to know your game is ready is after you've really run it through a very rigorous playtesting process. If you haven't done that, if you've only played it with yourself and your friends and your family, the people who are going to basically because they love you, tell you your game is good, until you've given it to people who don't care and have no tie to you and will tell you honestly whether your game's a piece of junk or not, until you've done that and done it over and over and over and over, your game probably isn't ready. Now, the hook is that you don't just lay your tiles horizontally, you build them vertically. So you actually buy little supply cubes, little Euro cubes, and you put them on your tiles, and once you've completed a tile, you can now put another tile on top of it and build up. Once you've built three floors, you can put a roof on the top that awards you a lot of other points. And so at the end of the game, everybody has their own very unique, very different uh, saloon. You could build the billiards room on top of the poker room, on top of the printing press. There's a jail, there's stables. So you can have your own really cool configuration. So at the end of the game, we're with Van Ryder Games, and uh, the game that we have coming out is called Saloon Tycoon. Um, it's right over here. So, OK. Um, it's called Saloon Tycoon. It's a tile building game where you are building your own kind of Wild West mini mall. Everybody will be building their own little empire. Now, the hook is that you don't just lay your tiles horizontally, you build them vertically. So you actually buy little supply cubes, little Euro cubes, and you put them on your tiles. And once you've completed a tile, you can now put another tile on top of it and build up. Once you've built three floors, you can put a roof on the top. That awards you a lot of other points. And so at the end of the game, everybody has their own very unique, very different uh, saloon. You could build the billiards room on top of the poker room, on top of the printing press. There's a jail, there's stables. So you can have your own really cool configuration. So at the end of the game, it's almost like you've built your own little Wild West town between all the players. It's for two to four players, it takes 60 to 90 minutes. It is a fantastic gateway game for new gamers, but it also has enough meat on its bones to really appeal to gamers who like a little more substance. Well, fantastic.
Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much.